In this video, we will discuss how to write net ionic equations for acid reactions. So, if you remember from Unit 1, a net ionic equation is where we break apart aqueous compounds. And so here we have potassium chromate, and it breaks apart into potassium and chromate. Silver nitrate breaks apart into silver and nitrate. Same thing with potassium nitrate. But solids, liquids, and gases stay together, so that is why silver chromate stays together. And what we do to figure out the net ionic equation is we just look at the ionic equation and see what can cancel on each side. And so this is all that cancels, and so what I'm left with for my um, net ionic equation is just chromate plus two silvers forming silver chromate, and that is it. Now, things get a little bit different, though, with acids because aqueous things are where things break apart or dissociate. But with acids, it's not always plain and simple because strong acids dissociate 100%. Where if we have a weak acid, a weak acid dissociates less than 5%. And that's just a, uh, a rough number, that 5%. So let's see how this um, is represented in a net ionic equation. Because if we have a weak acid, yes, it's aqueous. But it would be more correct to not break it apart. Because most of it stays intact. Okay, so let's look at this example. We have nitric acid. So I'm going to just go through and write the general reaction, HNO3, plus potassium hydroxide. And that is going to form in a double re replacement reaction, KNO3 plus HOH. And to get states of matter, this is aqueous, this is aqueous, this is aqueous, and water, of course, is a liquid. And... What we have going on here is we have HNO3. Nitric acid is a strong acid, so it is best represented broken apart for an ionic equation. So I can break these apart. And then water will stay together because it's a pure liquid. Okay, and so my um, nitrates cancel, my potassiums cancel, and my overall net ionic equation is H plus aqueous plus hydroxide aqueous forms HOH liquid water. Okay, nothing terribly new here, but let's see what happens in this next example. We have acetic acid, so that's H. C2H3O2 aqueous plus sodium hydroxide and that will form sodium acetate plus HOH liquid and we're going to break it apart into its ionic equation. Acetic acid is a weak acid. So what that means is I'm not really going to break it apart. The reason why is that less than 5% of it breaks apart, so why would I break it apart? Um, because that doesn't show where it is most of the time. So I'm gonna keep it together, but then I'm gonna have sodium break apart from hydroxide. So everything else aqueous will break apart, but weak acids. And so when I go to cross things out, it, the only thing that crosses would be sodium. So this reaction is actually pretty much the same so long as I get rid of my sodiums. And then I can move some things here together. Okay, so when you do a net ionic equation where there's an acid of all, involved, you need to make sure 
that you only break apart strong acids. If it's a weak acid, just keep it together and that will be the only thing that's aqueous that does not break apart.